زبزبات إلكترونية بفوتوا فيك براسك بقلبك ب... وين الصفاء وين وين ملمس بشرة شخص بتحبيه وين ملمس الأرض L'injonction était claire, il me fallait mourir. Amen. Beauty, death, rebirth, queerness, ungendered bodies, sublimity, and much more all converge together in Selim Murad's Agat Mus, or Mus Agat in English. Murad presents the realism of death and its subsequent natural rebirth with painstaking artistic execution. It is safe to say that he is indeed an aesthete. Themes in the film are plentiful, such as the decay of the human body, the totality of life, the multiplicity of identities, the subordinance of authority, hypernormalization, queerness, and much more. But some are more prominent than others. The emphasis on so many profound thematic elements leaves the film in some sort of filmic limbo, where there might not necessarily be a clear link between the various themes. However, this aspect of the film is a value in itself, as it strengthens its poetic and effective diversions. At points, the film speaks non-normatively and queers what we traditionally identify as storytelling in cinema. Agat Mus wants to obfuscate its concepts and not present them in a clear vein in order to allow the audience to concentrate on the purity of cinema and digress from conventional narrative formalities such as linearity, causality, a singular space-time continuum, etc. In doing so, the film desensitizes us from the elusive films we are so sensitized to. In line with this thought, the film's ontology can be summed up by its namesake, the Agat Mus Stone. Whether through the stone's sheer beauty, which is a parallel to the aesthetics of the film, its circular form, which connotes the film's rebirth theme, or the stone's illusory composition. When Tamara and Francois visit their stone collector and welder friend from the nudist community, Ali, they are informed about the stone's composition. Ali tells them that while it might seem like the stone is composed of moss due to its mossy interior, the stone's interior is actually minerally composed. The stone's illusory composition is a recurrent motif throughout the film. At the end of the film, this motif is iterated when Tamara finds out that her favorite radio talk show host, who provides pseudo-intellectual advice for Collins and who has lost her voice, is actually controlled by a young man snipping previous audio commentary together and subsequently broadcasting it. The illusory motif is also manifested through the filmic form itself as the fourth wall constantly becomes broken. Whether it is through Selim's direct address to the camera or when the film breaks its own diegesis and films the in-between spaces, Agat Mus elevates the motif to the meta-level. In doing so, the film constantly gears towards a hybrid space, a space that encompasses both documentary and fiction. It is within this space in which the film appears strange to the audience and subsequently opens up analytical and critical avenues. There is much to commend about Agat Mus, whether you want to submerge yourself into its aesthetic sublimity, experience a socio-politically charged sound design, or uncover the mind of a film essayist, Agat Mus deserves a couple of viewings. After all, the pleasure lies in deconstructing this meticulously crafted audiovisual poem that is competing for the renowned Tiger competition at the 2021 International Film Festival Rotterdam.